Hey guys, my name is Crew and welcome to another Minecraft Redstone Invention. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my Redstone Dunk Tank. Now this thing is pretty cool. Um, obviously it's great in any sort of, you know, carnival setting or just a fun little mini game to play with your friends, but I decided to add a little Redstone twist to the old fashioned Dunk Tank in Minecraft. So volunteering at the Dunk Tank today, we have villager number 27. He's up there, he's sitting on top of a trap door, and obviously our objective is to hit the middle of this target. Once we hit it, uh, the trap door will fall, and he will fall in the water. So we got three shots here, we're gonna give it our best shot. Here we go! Oh, we ended up missing the first one. Oh no, how unfortunate. But, um, yeah, we hit the second one, and you can see it's, you know, it's pretty basic. The trap door falls down, and he fell in the water. Oh no, he got, he got all wet. But the cool thing about this redstone design is um it actually automatically resets so we'll go ahead collect our arrow and we'll see voila the villagers magically back up at the top and the machine is ready to go again so it did a few things there um this definitely isn't you know a hugely complicated redstone design here um, but the cool thing about it is it won't actually reset until you pick up the arrow you know you can shoot as many as you want in here nothing's gonna happen but once you pick up all your arrows um, it actually takes away the water, a slime block launches, and he's back up top, standing on top of his trap door. So, essentially, it's a dunk tank that you can use any amount of times that you want to. Alrighty, so this is all the redstone going on behind the machine. Now, there isn't too much redstone, but there is a lot going on here, a lot of different checks and balances. What was really difficult was having the redstone actually work while the button was being pushed down for such a long period of time, and then obviously making it, you know, trigger once you take your arrow back out of it and then it's able to send them back up to the top. So this is actually the second design that I came up with. Over here I have the first design and this one works perfectly fine but only works when you actually push the button. You can see the villagers down there and then it gets launched back up. But unfortunately when you shoot it with an arrow I didn't account for the arrow being stuck in there for such a long time so it ends up it ends up breaking a little bit and doesn't really work properly. Um, but it's still it's still an okay design and it might be something that you guys need you know if you ever want it to work from just the touch of a button because you know that's how this guy is working um, anyway hopefully you all enjoyed this video obviously it's a nice little simple redstone creation but I still thought it was interesting enough and some worth showing you all now there is a world download link down in the description however I'm not going to be doing a tutorial because I couldn't imagine too many of you guys would want to build a dunk tank that actually manages to reset itself but it it is a fun little thing to have in your world so you know why not why not build this thing and there's a world download link in the description so other than that my name is crew be sure to check out the other minecraft redstone inventions down in the description and stuff like that and uh, yeah i'll see you guys in my next video adios uh, let me show you guys how it works here real quick so we just have you know a little minecart um, chest right here we can open it up look at our flowers that we got stored in here and then all we have to do is push that button and that will rotate the chest so now we can look at all of our dragon heads push it again that'll rotate the chest up again we got ourselves some golden apples and uh, so you can see the system is pretty